Hey, this is Wayne Tully, and today we're going to draw a skull with wings. I want this to be a detailed drawing. I did a quick drawing on my tattoo art channel, which I wasn't entirely happy with, but it was just an idea at the time. So, draw like a skull shape there. Uh, I'll just work on the, the details as we go along. Best to mark in the skull first because that's going to be the central image of this drawing. I'm sketching really quick. I think I'll have the skull mouth open. And then we've got the to be like this all oh, like spread out I'm just marking everything out you know as we go along try and let it sort of match up uh, to the other wing and that lot Still in the sketching stages of the wings, we need to develop them a bit more. So, I've already decided on uh, that these spike bits are going to be the feathers. less spikier at the bottom or feather like um, but it looks a bit better once we start to you know flesh these feathers out and I want these feathers to be black I don't have to really make it um, symmetrical just uh, so as, as rough as we can Maybe probably like layers of feathers. There's probably like smaller um, feathers here. I'll just try and illustrate them with like spikes. We do that. Well, the spikes are zigzags. Try and get it roughly the same on the other side, and then there'll be a middle. I'm going to do middle spikes as well, which are slightly longer. And we do the ones here too. So we're building our wings up in layers. That's the best way to do it. And 
Maybe do some more under layers, just slightly under there, just to help balance it out. As long as you've got it roughly marked out, you can work things out, you know, as you go along. And then this under layer will spill out at the top there, just to even it out as well. So remember, there's this top layer there that and it comes out under there as well. So we can just try and match it all up, you know, as we go along. Again, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. I mean, is it, if you want it to be perfect, then it'll have to be symmetrical, but I don't really want it perfect. So long as it looks um, quite cool, that's all. that's all I'm really bothered about. The illustration. I'm start to shade them eyes in now. Start to add some more details and just start to work on. all the details in you know, of the teeth and that sort of thing so drawing them in there the teeth there and I'll maybe just add all that shading in there just to help separate all that area and we can round off some areas as well and you know I mean if you make a mistake you've always got an eraser to help um, you know rub the, the mistakes out yeah. Yeah, so we've got the the shape right. Let's go over the skull image there. Let's maybe start to add a bit more detail and shadows here and there, helping to the define the drawing some further shadows under the eyes well the eye sockets there's no eyes there These feather things on the wings, um, I want to maybe sketch them in with the uh, thick markers when I come to ink them. And then we can sort of like contrast that out with some white pens and you know, finer ink pens. So I think that's what we'll do. So I've got a thicker marker pen here. Yeah, I'm just going to go over certain areas. I mean, don't worry about um, messing up your drawing because we can always, you know, sort bits out that don't turn out too well or things like that. And what we want to do is we want to do like black, like spikes for now because we can create the feather texture with some white pens as we go along. And I usually do this in layers. Oops. I do the 
sort of larger feathers first. Like I said, it doesn't have to be totally symmetrical because uh, I'm not really bothered about that. Just more interested in the the idea of the skull with wings more than how else. One of them wings will go off. I'll just can edit that later. So I'm gonna get the bulk of the dark colour. And these white parts um, sort of like signify the other sort of layer of feathers underneath that appear back under there. So they seem to go under there, under this other top layer. So you just got to keep you know track of where the the underlying drawing is, if that makes sense. So we're drawing this in real time, it's going to take quite some time to finish this drawing but I just wanted to show you this full drawing that I'm trying to do. Remember that these become less and less sharp as you go along to the bottom. But there's still feathers that are just more spread out. And there'll be some sort of like feather textures and stuff we'll add to that as we go along. Um, let's try and mark out where these other feathers go. Roughly there. So do these, you know, wings, these, well, these large feathers. I'll just go over it with a white pen and I'll show you how I, you know, add some, like, feather textures. It's, it's just sort of trying to get into that mindset of uh, drawing, like, in black and white contrasts and, you know, blacking out certain areas and then highlighting white over the top it's just sort of getting used to that really Do some 
lands which help add something to it and you've got to do all this on each feather you know because it's got to be sort of all matching so that's basically what you do really um, you can sort of uh, go over it with um, some like thinner ink pens and make them more into a point and you know that sort of thing but yeah mistakes you just highlight things out and or, you know, paint over it or something like that but usually I do this right at the end um, but then you've got to mark out you know where your next you know feathers are gonna do and you've got to maybe leave like a white uh, line around the outside and things like that um, otherwise you'd cover up some of your lines and then you'd end up going way off so that's why I'm just doing this step by step but it's a nice contrast uh, just imagine the whole of the you know the feathers that look like this and then you look at the drawing and you think yeah looks quite feathery and you can go over it say like um, with a, a finer ink pen you know and you can like raise certain areas you know things like that if you can see that So you can make, you know, extend the, you know, the wings, make, you know, more feathery looking. You know, it takes more time, but it's, it still looks quite effective. So, yeah. So hopefully what we're going to do, um, I'll have a break there because my arm's aching <laughs> but we'll uh, start to wing the rest of this and yeah it should look pretty good so I've still got this thick marker I think it's what's best just to just lay in some thick like feather shapes and then just try and shape it into you know sort of position As long as the overall effect looks, you know, like um, feathery, <laughs> like a wing, then that's all that matters really. way sometimes 
and that is large um, sort of blunt feathers under the bottom here you can add some white texture to help separate areas you know like um, you know feather bits there and here there and everywhere so these can be a little tiny feathers on the wing then we'll probably try and simulate that on the other side but let's start to darken the eyes and stuff of this skull and then we'll probably need a well we definitely will need a thinner marker maybe a pigma micron probably or two or three so I've drawn in the dark areas. So, yeah, get the O3 pigment micron. Shaded areas, almost like a quick cross hatching on the skull. Bits there, a little bit more shadow around the frown lines, just extra frown lines. So we've got that part there. I think what we'll do is flip this around and we'll start to do <coughs> the other wing. I definitely have to get a tripod sword or something because I'm getting a bit pissed off with this. Right, so we'll start to try and you know follow you know, match the other wing, but it doesn't have to be, you know, too precise or anything like that. Just a general idea of the wing. If you make any mistakes, it doesn't really matter, because you can, you know, edit these out, mistakes out of the way if you wanted to. try and match that other side. Uh, it still isn't finished because we're going to do some highlights underneath and help separate some of these pieces and maybe add some more thicker lines 
maybe help don't know, separate that from the skull because the skull is the brightest thing there so what we'll do is work in a different way just work a, a lot uh, what I did in that area, you know, that type of thing, and well, I use dark, thick areas. Try not to leave little white gap areas just to, you know, guide your own sort of highlights. Uh, that we can, you know, that just to show that that's the end of them set of feathers, and then there'll be another set of feathers overlapping there, and you know, that sort of thing. It's good to have some kind of planning, but sometimes it's best just to just get on with it rather than thinking too much about things. So if you're going to make mistakes, you're going to make them. It's best to learn by them. About just throwing yourself into the drawing. So already here, like I've sort of noticed that them feather bits flow out a bit more, and we can change that, you know, as we ink. You know, we can start to make these more curved, just to hopefully match, you know, them. So don't worry too much about it. Drawing wings takes practice and you know these wings are perfect but the you know you zoom back and you look it's it resembles a wing so there <laughs> smaller ink ink pen just to do nice points on them right at the end. I'll leave it for now, do all the details right at the end. Of course we're going to extend the highlights in there to make these feather bits small larger. Just about you know, doing your drawing and then sort of taking a step back, which I've some, sometimes mentioned in other videos. Um, you know, seeing if your drawing's looking okay and whether it's, it's workable. done on this side and just try and match it really that's, that's the basic idea See that it's sort of, you know, taking shape and you know matching up to what you want to draw with the wings. I 
and bring out thicker bits as you're going along. Make that darker on the top there. Just look back and see. More dots here and there. So you got the rough sort of idea. Now we're going to go through and start to add some white highlights just here and there, you know, maybe on the eyes as well, just to try and balance things out a bit. Um, you know, just add like small details. So I've got my white uh, jelly roll pen. Uh, just going to start to add some like highlights, just rough feather textures I'm not too bothered about you know drawing them precisely uh, probably add some other ink pens to the mix and with this process I like to work uh, quite sketchy because you're never going to get a perfect line Unless you use a, a ruler, but <laughs> don't want to use rulers. So you're adding some nice, f you know, suggestions of like feathery textures, and that's all that matters. Obviously, I'm working. Uh, from top to bottom because if I worked from top uh, to bottom to top like I'd get it all over my hands and start smudging it everywhere which is not what I want so you know it's just an obvious way of working Sometimes on this sort of stage is just about working very quick. It's like I said, you're never going to get that perfect line. You, you, you usually get more perfect lines with quick strokes of the pen. More often than not, so it's best just to just work with that idea. And we can do the you know the other side. Now I'm starting from bottom here but I'm going to twist it round as I go and just try and avoid you know getting smudges everywhere. central line and just add little other little textures around it just to quickly suggest that it's a feather finished sort of effect you can do with a feather is you know the feather texture it just it just looks quite effective even though I'm sketching real fast to try and get these lines laid down once you take a step back and look at your drawings from a bit of a distance as well you can see you know, all them slight details that's coming together. Quite like this way of working, really. Sketching quickly. Not too organised, but it's, it just feels right. Do 
with some highlights here and there. And some more feather textures. We'll go overboard in the middle there, because this one. to get the suggested strokes down Details in there. And we'll probably leave that as is. So I hope you enjoyed that drawing tutorial. Uh, I quite like the wing effects. You could carry on and do more details if you wanted to. And of course, I raised the pencil lines, but I, do, I usually do that after this video. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now!